Okay, Braden, this is from last Sunday. I think it was the, the 23rd of January, 2011. All right, I want you to watch your front foot. That is your left foot, okay? Toe hits, heel comes down. Now let's the back foot. See how that's that's a little bit uh, sloppy right there. <clears throat> I want to I want to get that kind of toned up a little bit, okay? See so now you go from touching with your toe first. And it's just it's it's just about being consistent. You know, I want you to to remember that you're going to be doing this for the rest of your life. This is the kind of approach you're going to be asked to do. And as you raise up like that, you know, your toe comes down. It's at a different spot than normal. Heel comes around, and you've still got to get that back foot over. Remember. Hips, then hands. Okay? You're getting your hips activated, then your hands come around, but you've got to let your hips engage. If you keep that back foot sloppy like that, then it's not going to engage your hips fully. Now you're striding out. You're having to rush a little bit there. We'll keep working on this. This will get better as you practice. You've got to practice your dry swings. One good thing I really like about what I'm seeing here is when you do get your back leg, your right foot, it's the one that's closest to your left right now, it's, that's your right leg. When you do get it to come through, you're doing what you need to do. You know, the mechanic, it looks really good. I can just use my imagination and think a couple of years. If I can get you to glide back, kind of roll back towards the catcher instead of raising up like that, and then come through with a good firm front leg, you're going to really be pounding the ball, okay? So you get in the habit of raising up like that, you're going to get a lot of movement going on. Your head kind of leaks forward. I want you to stay back behind the ball. And remember this order. If you don't have the baseball, then your bat, and then your head, then you're out of order, okay? So you're, hand, you're swinging with your hands, then your feet. Got to get your legs going. Now you'll you'll improve this if you really practice on your dry swings. Just imagine you're loading, and then you're exploding. It's kind of like you're rolling backwards. You roll backwards here, and now as you your left leg heel comes down, you roll forward. Okay. All right. Keep working on this. Again, in your dry swings, and it will definitely improve. I'll see you next Sunday, okay?